everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on The Madness Underneath by Maureen Johnson. This is the second book in her Shades of London series. The first book in the series is The Name of the Star, which I did a review on last year. And if you haven't read The Name of the Star yet, feel free to check out that review. And I'll leave a link on the screen and down in the description. Go watch that review instead of this one because there will be spoilers for The Name of the Star in this review, but there won't be spoilers for this book in this review. At the end of the series, a lot of things happen. She gets attacked and so she ends up leaving her school and going back home to Bristol, England to live with her parents. But then at the beginning of the book, she is able to go back to school. Another thing that happened at the end of the book is that Rory has become a human terminus. So if she touches a ghost, then they disappear into wherever they disappeared to. The majority of this book is basically just about Rory dealing with the consequences of everything that happened in her first book. Not only was she attacked, but she also realized that she can see ghosts and she doesn't really know what that means. And then there's the whole boy situation with Jerome and just all these other things that she has to deal with. And even just the fact that she was away from school for a significant amount of time and so she's behind at school and she doesn't really know how to deal with that whole situation. So a significant portion of this book is just about Rory trying to figure out what's going on. Rory's learning how to sort of live almost a double life because she has this whole ghost side of her that she can't really share with the people that she goes to school with and so that creates some sort of barrier. She's constantly having to sneak around in line. This book is different from The Name of the Star because The Name of the Star there was like a direct mystery that Rory and everyone else was sort of dealing with. There's some creepy stuff going on in this book. You know that something's off but you don't necessarily know exactly what's off and you don't really find out what's going on until the end of the book. It feels like the first like almost two-thirds of this book is really pretty slow and very introspective for Rory and then the last third is when everything sort of happens and oh my goodness the ending of this book is absolutely insane. I was so upset and I really think the ending of this book really is what made me love it so much because the first two-thirds felt really slow and I wasn't really super enamored by it. I think because there wasn't a mystery or anything like that to really pull me in. I knew that there was something off and I really wanted to finish it to see what was going on but there wasn't a mystery that made me want to keep reading the way I did in The Name of the Star but everything that happens at the end is really crazy and it makes me want to read the next book because it ends sort of on a cliffhanger um, but I wasn't super over the top in love with everything else about the book so I feel like if that ending wasn't there I wouldn't have loved it so much. Similar to what I said in Scarlet before, all of this is sort of necessary character development that has to happen otherwise it doesn't really make sense. Like the character has to react to everything that happened in the first book otherwise they're not normal. Another thing is that this book is a lot more gruesome and scary than the first book. This one is a lot more violent to me. Literally the first scene is a murder and you read it and you're like, okay Maureen Johnson is getting real. <laughs> so be warned for that in case you don't like things that are slightly more scary or gory. I rated this book as 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads but in reality I would probably give it closer to a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Then I decided to round up because I did really like the ending and did give me a lot of emotions was just something I look for in a book so I didn't want to knock it down to a 3. A 3 felt too low. So my thoughts on The Madness Underneath by Maureen Jadson. Feel free to leave comments down below about if you have read The Name of the Star and what you're looking forward to in The Madness Underneath or if you read The Madness Underneath, let me know what your thoughts are about the book. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching. Second book in the Name of the Star trilogy. Nope, that's not what it's called at all. This is the second book in her Shades of what Shades of Lo Oh my gosh. Drink some more coffee. You know, there's the boy situation with I don't remember his name. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the name of the star. Nope.